Hello there, Ida here. In our last two videos, we explored CNC lace and CNC mill. Let's find out the difference between CNC lace and CNC mill this time. Working principle. Both are substrate manufacturing process, but they differ in how they work. CNC lace is mainly for rotting objects. The part spins on the lathe, and the cutting tool moves around the radian and the external direction to cut. CNC lacing is typically used for rotational symmetrical parts such as cylindrical, conical parts. On the other hand, CNC milling uses a rotating cutting tool to machine the parts, while parts is either rotating in some cases or stationary. Milling can handle parts with flat surfaces, grooves, curves, and more. Cost. The cost can vary greatly due to different factors for each technology. CNC lathe is a budget-friendly option compared to mill machines. Lathe usually don't have complex setups. For symmetrical parts, the tool pans are simpler, making mass production much faster with lacing than milling. Continuous cutting with a single tool and efficient use help to reduce production time and overall cost. Less typically have two or three eggs, fewer than milling, leading to a lower initial investment cost. Compared to CNC less, CNC milling can be quite costly. The multi eggs nature of milling and the need to secure the parts at different angles often require more complex setups. This can be more time consumer and higher demanding for operators, affecting the overall production cost. Many complicated parts can take longer than lacing simple. Symmetrical parts increasing operational cost. Milling machines have more access, giving higher flexible, but also raising the initial investment cost. Material compatibility. CNC lace works with a variety of materials, but a single point cutting method might limit use with certain materials. Materials like soft alumina and brass can cause tools clog or wear faster than in milling. With its muddy angst capability and diverse cutting tools, CNC milling is more flexible in terms of material capability. It can handle challenging materials like titanium or harder steel, ensuring accuracy and minimums tool well. Surface finishing. For CNC lace, the container tool cutting on the rotating parts result in a smoother surface. This is because the tool is in constant contact with the materials, creating a more uniform texture. Therefore, achieving a smooth surface doesn't require any additional process. While in CNC milling, the muddy direction movement of the cutting tool can leave minor marks on the material's surface, especially for complicated parts. So, additional finish steps like polish or burnish are required to achieve a smooth part surface. Types of parts suitable for machining. CNC lacing is generally limited to symmetrical geometrical shapes. It can create threads, grooves, and other features on cylindrical work pieces, but it can achieve the detail on multiplied surface than milling can. The ability of milling to move around multiply axes allows it to machine in regular and complicated detail parts, making it a preferred choice for parts with the intricate details and the needs to create multiply surface. Workpiece examples, drafts, pistons, rolls, broads, and nuts, impellers, gears, engine blocks, medical implants. When to use CNC less or milling? We have compared them based on working principle and cost. Here is a comparison table to help you visually understand the main differences. In general, CNC less is suitable for parts with symmetrical features, which CNC mill is suitable for parts of all shapes. If you are unsure how to choose the right one, Citron's professional can help you choose the best CNC machining service for your project. 
Additional CNC milling and lacing can be combined for optimal machining results. No matter whether your project involves lacing or milling, our experienced engineers team can meet your needs to a high standard. Feel free to upload your drawings and discuss the specifics with ourselves.